Let's start with this controversial removal of Dr. Rick Bright. Uh, I have to recuse myself from this story because I, I kind of see too much of myself in the hero doctor. So, Governor, how much longer before Trump admits he was entirely behind this whole thing? Look, you know, we've seen time and again in this administration that they place uh, politics above science. And this is a time when we're dealing uh, with a uh, pandemic that uh, we can only understand by turning to the uh, to the experts. Speaking of medical experts, did you know that the guy who plays House MD is actually British? I did not know that. Ooh, that's going to come up in the vetting for Attorney General. Now let's turn out to Las Vegas, where the mayor is threatening to sully the city's sterling reputation. By the way, shout out to Sully Sullenberger with acts of irresponsibility and personal recklessness. Take a look at this. We offered to be a control group. Anybody who knows anything about statistics knows that, for instance, you have a vaccine. You're offering you the, real the citizens of Las Vegas to be a control group to see if your I theory on social distancing no, works no, no, or doesn't no, work. No, wrong. Absolutely wrong. Don't put words in my mouth. You just said, said we'll said be a control group. Offer. It is unfair of Anderson Cooper to totally twist the mayor's words into a lightly paraphrased version of them. Now, obviously, I love Las Vegas, okay? I go there to see the pirate shows and get the worst sunburn of my life. Now, what do you say to guys mm -hmm. like me who need to shore up their masculinity with a performative trip to Las Vegas? I would say for the time being, for everyone's safety, uh, stay home and socially distant and it. do your very best to assure yourself of your manhood in the absence of a trip uh, in the short term. You know, it's hard to feel like a man back home. I just don't have that much shrimp. We talk about Vegas. I love going for, first off, the art galleries. Okay, I also volunteer as an MC at Magic Mike's Mail Review. Volunteer? And then you head outside the city, go see some old abandoned uh, silver towns. They got a lot of one-room schoolhouses. It's a great visit for you and mom. It's Vegas, Austin. You know, this just disgusting town is just a den of sin. It absolutely sullies the reputation of the great state of Nevada. Shout out, of course, to Sully Sullenberger again. I mean, I have to agree with Vance on this because the last time I was in Vegas was just a horrible sight. I remember blacking out with the National Association of Black Journalists. Robin Wright gave me martinis down the throat, and all I know is I woke up with a face tattoo. All right, let's move on here. Today, FoxNews.com <laughs> features a story saying that documents seized from Osama bin Laden's compound show that he thought Joe Biden was, quote, totally un prepared to serve as president. Obviously a huge setback for the Biden campaign. Uh, we know you're a Biden surrogate. Is this when you tell bin Laden, hey, we can't have Trump for a second term? No, I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about much that comes out of uh, um, foxnews.com, to tell you the truth. There are a lot of people out there who are reading foxnews.com right now. I mean, let's pretend I'm Osama bin Laden. How do you convince me I should vote for Joe Biden? Look, if you want um, a future yeah. for yourself and your family, if you want to be, um, if you want to be able to get in, engage in uh, political and civic uh, civic uh, uh, discussion and uh, and right, and, right. and competition without feeling like you have mm -hmm. to hate mm -hmm. your enemy, uh, if you want a nation that is moving forward instead of pulling itself apart, then I think yeah, Joe Biden right. is the obvious choice. Governor, congratulations. You have convinced Osama bin Laden to vote for Joe Biden. Now, Governor, how will Joe Biden recover now that Osama bin Laden has endorsed him? I mean, I think this is a real setback for Joe Biden. <laughs> Look, I think Joe Biden wants uh, uh, the ultimate endorsement, which is the vote of every single American.